Hey David, thanks for sending me your swim video for analysis. The first thing I'm looking at is the number of strokes you take and I add that up to your time for each 25 and I get what's called a swallow score. So the first length you took 24 strokes in about 24 seconds. The second length you took 28 strokes in about 30 seconds. So that tells me over time you're getting um, less efficient because you're taking more strokes as the distance gets longer. The next thing I'm looking at is breathing body balance rotation. You are a bilateral breather, so you do have a little bit of more body rotation, but I just want you to know what drives your rotation is the underwater catch and push. That's going to drive your rotation. So that's important to know. So after I'm looking at breathing body balance rotation, and it also looks like you have some decent body rotation because um, your legs are up, your head is down, and you're pushing the weight of your body on your sternum. Your kick actually looks pretty good. So next I'm looking at um, recovery, what's going on while your arms are coming out of the water. And right now, um, your left arm is high and wide like that. Your right arm is just pretty wide. So I want to get rid of this high and wide just by dropping your arm, fingertips below the wrist, below the elbow. I think the key drill is going to be for you is the um, fingertip drag drill to work on that high elbow recovery because that's going to affect your hand entry. Right now, I like your hand entry. You're, you're entering at an angle. I just want you to know that as you enter, you rotate, and as you enter, the opposite arm is pulling. So you can think of rotation as when you enter, you rotate, or you can think of rotation as the underwater pull is driving your rotation because that's ultimately what's going on. Hand entry looks okay. After hand entry, I'm looking at the underwater catch and pull. It appears that you that you do tend to enter and then you kind of pull your hand out a little bit wide. So what I would like you to think about is looking down over that black line. And as you're looking down over the black line, you're watching your arms pull underneath your body. That's going to be very helpful and make sure you're pulling all the way past your hip. So you're losing a little bit of extension from behind. So when you think about swimming, you want to think about extending from behind. And when you extend in front, you extend in front because your hip rotation. You don't want to extend in front by reaching with your shoulder. So um, again, the key drills, probably I wouldn't hurt to do thumb, some thumb slide drill. Um, definitely a fingertip drag drill to work on that recovery. Keep up your hand entry. And then the two drills that are really going to focus on your underwater catch and push is going to be the head out of the water drill, no, sorry, the underwater doggy paddle drill, as well as the catch up drill. Um, those drills are really, you're really going to see improvement in your time. The key to swimming is when you work on your technique, build endurance and strength, and then add some conditioning such as um, speed workouts, tempo workouts, threshold workouts, that's going to make you faster. You don't want to do that all at once. There's some technique that you need to fine tune before you really want to incorporate um, the intensity into your swim program. So I look forward to your progress. Keep me updated and make it a great day.